for tutorial for you guys on how to today it's on how to do a uh, watermark within Cinema 4D and how to export it out of Sony Vegas okay so we'll get started off with a uh, text and I'm going to make my object um, my text say ASB okay and we're gonna put my caps on fill a cap fill a cap and make sure there's no reflection on your material or it'll reflect the green background that we're going to be using for our chroma keying okay so just try and make it as dead as possible um, but you can bring in the after effects and you can adjust it and make it better it's just as long as the chroma key can key out of the, the text itself okay so that's my text i've made a wee red or a wee red material here without the reflection or spectacular or spangular i don't care i don't even care anymore um <laughs> i can't pronounce shit so i'm going to make this a lot bigger so it will cover the font pretty well and we're going to rotate our plane to 90 degrees in the y-axis and we're going to want to move it back a brave bit so we can rotate our font and we're going to make our font editable we're going to put our um, pivot point which is this, using this arrow here we're going to put it to the middle so we can rotate it from the middle and we're going to move back up the arrow with the polygons and we're going to keyframe the from 0 to 100 frames okay and we're going to move to 100 frames and we're going to rotate our font 360 degrees in the x-axis okay 360 degrees if it would hurry up okay and hit keyframe so our text is effectively spinning okay and we want to create an R material for our plane which is just going to be a luminance green background okay and put it on the background we're going to zoom in a wee bit we're going to make sure our SP is in the middle of the screen we're going to go up here to our render settings we're going to save the output into a folder I've already tried to do this before so go into our desktop create a new folder tutorial SB I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go into my folder and I'm gonna name this um, sequence um, SB and we're gonna go up here to our format we're gonna go down here to QuickTime JPEG and we're gonna go to our output make the screen 1920 by 1080 which is full HD and from 0 to 100 frames we're going to make our resolution that wee bit higher so about 200 is better okay and that's that's the render settings perfectly fine so we're going to render this out now and we'll well um we've just rendered out our cinema 4d now we're going to pull into some of our sony vegas okay and we're going to go into our desktop we're going to go to tutorial or wherever it is uh, tutorial SB and we've got our sequence as you can see we're going to need to import that so we go to import media desktop um, tutorial SB click on our first title go to open still image sequence click open and just click OK because all these settings are for your project settings and just click OK now we've got this so we press play it rotates yay <laughs> okay and that's that's really all there is to it um, all we need to do now is just keyframe it out keyframe the background out so we're going to go to color chroma here and we're going to drop green screen into the background uh, that's not the best one let me see Uh, chroma key here, drop chroma key in.
to take the eyedropper tool and make sure you click on the background and that should be it guys um, depending on how well you made your font I didn't make mine very well you'll see that it is keyed out the background so if I drop in say oh, I don't know file import media desktop I'm gonna drop in say the Cinema 5 intro I did go over the top of it and we're gonna wanna scale that down so we're gonna hit our pan slash crap and we're going to want to scale that we're gonna want to take off maintain aspect ratio for a start and we're gonna scale it away up so we're making it effectively making a small lot smaller and moving it down into the corner of the video and that's all there is to it guys it's really that easy um, just make sure you get your font and stuff right because I still have a bit of green there but um, that's loud give me a second it's very freezy but that will effectively um, you'll effectively see your font your avatar spinning in our 360 degrees and then all you have to do is just keep extending it to, for as long as your video lasts and it'll keep ro rotating as much as you want okay guys um, sorry if this tutorial seems quite boring it is a high demand actually it's quite weird um, but it really is that simple for using it in Sony Vegas now but if you wanted to render this out quickly um, for likes of After Effects it's go in here to your render options and go to output or sorry save go down here to QuickTime movie and go to options go to animation and go to PNG and go to hit it interlaced okay hit OK hit alpha channel and that's it that's all it is to it guys hit render that out and pull into After Effects and it'll keyframe the back of it out for you um, but as the rest of the things that is all it is to it um, you can't render it out in QuickTime Movie PNG for Sony Vegas for some weird reason Sony Vegas doesn't like the format and doesn't key the background out for you so we don't want that and um, that is this is the only way I know to create a watermark for Sony Vegas I usually create my watermarks for After Effects because I have it and it is a lot better quality so if you can get your hand on After Effects it's a lot better for you but and um, that's it guys that's all I've got for you and thanks for watching this tutorial please leave a comment and a like and goodbye